take a trip. Get the band back together. See moments as possibilities. Take a wrong turn. This is life, but life is so rarely this. So promise to do it again next year, only in Minnesota. The Golden Gophers are chasing dreams today. A win keeps them alive in the Big Ten West Division title chase in control of their own destiny with sights set on their goal of reaching the Big Ten championship game early next month. And Armstrong hops out of one man, and now he's going to throw deep to Kenny Bell behind. The defense has it 40, 30. He may be gone. Staying in the first blow for Nebraska is going to be the key this afternoon. Out of the snap of Reeves, spins the handoff to Abdullah, and he's in for the touchdown. It was important for us to score right after they did, to be able to you know, kill the momentum they probably had from that scoring drive and give us momentum to, to keep building forward and, and realize that we can move the ball on these guys and we can score on them. First down to the one yard line, the fullback, Miles Thomas out of Downs, Kansas. Wide side to the left, it's a quarterback sneak and Leitner, touchdown! Finally they blow the whistle and say it's a touchdown from a yard out. right, he escapes one man, now turns, fires back across his body, has his man, Pearson out, fumbled the football, and it's recovered in the end zone, but they call it a touchdown first. They say he crossed the goal line before the fumble. Here's Leitner on play action, rolls left, has his man, it's caught near side, Max Williams, 30, 35, and he carries three guys out to the 39. It up, breaks a tackle and is into the secondary to the 40 and 35 and he's pushed out late. Leading up to the block field goal, you know, we had actually felt pretty good because we made some adjustments and we were actually starting to stop them. But anytime a, a big swing happens like that, it kind of takes a little bit of the wind out of your sails. But thankfully we were able to get out of the half without giving up more points and uh, regroup at halftime. I said before. If we're going to win a damn game, we're going to have to score 24 to 30 points. That simple. Show me that mental toughness that we had all year. We're fine. We just got to go out and do our thing. Second half is going to be ours. You got to believe it. It was huge to come out there and uh, set the tone for the offense, set the tone for the rest of the half uh, after that, that first drive out of halftime. Third and 14, back to pass, the blitz comes, it's a corner blitz, and Armstrong's in trouble! Down he goes at the nine yard line. Gophers down 14, trying to trim the lead in half here. Has a hole up the middle, and he's in for the touchdown! Minnesota Golden Gophers, a 17 yard scamper, untouched. Third and two, again out of the pistol, and again the handoff, this time to cross. He's hitting the backfield, stumbles forward, he got a yard, he's short, it's fourth and one. Third and five, Gophers down 10. Back to pass with a blitz coming. Leitner throws underneath, has his man, KJ May. First down, inside the 30 to the 27 yard line. The handoff is to Roderick. Gets outside and he's in! Touchdown! On fourth and one, it's a touchdown from 19 yards out, just a sprint outside. You know, we look back towards the end, it's like, oh man, we had how many three and outs and we actually we only gave up three points. And we knew that, you know, after the after the block field goal touchdown, the margin of error got smaller and smaller. Throwing deep down the right sideline for KJ May. It's caught by May at the 30 and out of bounds at about the 28-yard line. Leidner is going to keep left side, buries his head, he's in. Go ahead, score Golden Gophers. Back to pass is Armstrong. Looks, has time. Now he's flushed from the pocket, rolling right, That's throws it. one deep. By the time I turn around, the ball's already in his hand. I take one yank, it doesn't come out, then I take another hard yank, and next thing I know, the ball's in my hands. And it's fumbled, the ball is out. Buddy Calhoun has it. And the clock is winding down. Bo Pelini has thrown in the towel. And the University of Minnesota Golden Gophers have it all on the line next week.
after a big win today in Lincoln. When everybody just rejoiced like that about winning, it lets you know that how far this team has come and how, how close we are as how close we are as brothers and coaches. It was like a, a huge party, and I, I swear we went on for about 15 minutes. And even after the, uh, the celebration was over, guys were still celebrating. So it was just a, it was just an extreme, extreme good feeling in that locker room at that moment. Hey, I can't tell you a bunch of relentless young men. We got guys saying we got things, and I'll tell you what, it's a tremendous group effort. Yep. All right. Somebody's gonna have to give us some music. Somebody's hey. all about to sing. Hey, hey, we're all dancing now. Hey. No music. No music. That's why everybody loves Coach Kill because he's such a player's coach and loves to have fun with the guys. And when we get in there and we start dancing around and he starts dancing with us, it just it just gets everyone fired up and it just makes winning that much more fun because and your coach can be a part of it with you like that and just really enjoy the moment and see how much he enjoys the moment. It just makes it that much better. It's going to be a physical ball game and uh, yeah, you gotta you gotta buckle up for safety in this one. The rivalry it, it fits in very well because the axe has not been in Minneapolis in a very long time. So I know that this this is one the uh, team wants to see. This is one that the fans of Minnesota want to see. It's another trophy game, and we we have the ability to be the first team in Gopher history to have all four trophies here. So it's a lot riding on this on this one game. It's something that'll kind of get you your blood boiling and you'll get some goosebumps just from seeing your opponent. You kind of grow to not like these guys. And I, I guess it's, they feel the same way about us. To still be going into the last week and have a shot at your goals that you set at the outset of the season shows that it's, it's all been worth it up to this point. Now we just have to finish it and go get that ass.